Okay, what we have here is a crystal controlled vacuum tube oscillator. It's running at 13.55 megahertz. And we're going to unhook the frequency control so you can see what the waveform looks like. It's a little distorted, probably because of all of the uh, <clears throat> extra wires extra inductance capacitance in the system. We're going to put a tank circuit on here or a low pass filter and clean that up before it goes into the uh, preamp stage. And we got the tubes right here. It's a 12 AT. Actually, I take that back. It's not the 12 AT7. It's the 6 uh, Charlie Lima 6 tube. It's a 4 megahertz uh, video vacuum tube from, uh, from television uh, era days. And uh, got some radio frequency chokes over here. And the crystal itself is doo -doo -doo, right down here. Let's see if you zoom in here. There it is, right here. Crystal is right there. Like I say, we've got all this extra uh, wire, so we've got uh, more than optimal inductance capacitance going on here. So just a breadboard system. We're going to try to clean that up by making uh, everything shorter, solder stuff together uh, in the future. But <clears throat> the uh, <clears throat> output is so low that we're going to have to put that in another stage to amplify that. So what we're going to do is try put it in a 12AT7 or a 12x7 uh, preamp tube. Uh, so we'll uh, make the oscillation uh, occur and then we'll amplify it immediately up to preamp level and then go from there into the, uh, the power tube. <clears throat> and the circuit, let me show you the circuit. The circuit is based on a model 720 Eco. It's a uh, 90 watt uh, continuous wave transmitter. And the tube they use is the same one we, you were just looking at. It's the 6 uh, Charlie Lima 6 tube. It's, again, it's the, it's the preamp, it's a uh, video amplifier 4 megahertz uh, tube. Uh, it's pentode. It's actually a uh, GE tube. And this is the tube. <coughs> Now the difference between other a lot of pentode tubes and this one here, the uh, the upper screen tube usually is connected to the cathode. In this case here, we can go directly to the ground, which is what they do on this circuit. It's a professional circuit we were looking at here, the eco transmitter tube. So we're not sure if other <coughs> pentode tubes will work because number seven goes right to ground for the screen versus going to, uh, internally hooked to the cathode. So that's all trial and error. You can try it and see what happens. Uh, but what we're going to try next is the, uh, let's say the 12, eh, not the 12, it's the, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's the 12 AT7. Where is that tube? 12 AT7. Or the 12x. Prefer the AT7. It's got more power in it. So that's the tube we're going to try next. It's a high mu twin uh, triode. <coughs> uh, it's similar to the uh, 12x7, but this has got a lot more power inside. They use either one of these on the guitar amps and stuff like that. So very popular tube. But this is based on the Eco circuit here, and I get number seven. The screen goes right to ground. Normally, on a pentode, that uh, upper screen is connected right to the cathode, so it might be critical in this case. We're not going to try uh, <clears throat> the other tubes if this is the way they want that design. So, you've got a uh, radio frequency choke down here, radio frequency choke up here. Uh, you've got the crystal over here. Not sure you can change a lot of frequencies. This I think this is a it might be a Pierce 
oscillator, I'm not quite sure. But you can interchange a lot of different uh, frequency uh, crystals in, in the right kind of a, a circuit. You can put your function generator in here. And the 220 uh, picofarads, 22 picofarads over here. This stuff's all critical, 100K. Uh, this is also critical over here, the, uh, the bypass resistor for the uh, grid number 2. That's your B. Uh, I'll show you the uh, values we have in our stuff. But this one here is critical. would not run without the bypass in here. So uh, you put these values in here. You should be able to get your crystal work at 13.56 and probably a lot of other frequencies. It's all trial and error. But again, you make sure you've got the bypass on the grid number two or it's probably not going to work. This stuff over here, one was... For crystal and one was for the uh, variable frequency oscillator or a uh, function generator <clears throat> we didn't put any of this on here this basically goes this is for the key for the Morse code key so basically this is running ground unless they uh, put the key in there uh, so this uh, cathode is grounded that's what you want to do so none of these bypass uh, Capacitors are needed for the circuit. You want to have the radio frequency choke over here uh, and the rest of the stuff similar. So this is what we came up with based on that stuff. Again, the crystal, this is 100K, same value, 22 and 220 picofarads, radio frequency choke. Uh, this stuff was optional. We tried it with bypass or whatever, didn't need this stuff. But this one is critical, C4. Which was 0.01. Uh, R2. We had that 60k at 5. And that thing gets hot. C2. 0.01. And here's the values. Of the uh, crystal. It was a 13.56 uh, MAS-13.560 MAHE-B. Got that on, uh, I believe it was DigiKey. They're very cheap, 25, 30 cents a piece, something like that. So the uh, radio frequency chokes, we, these were Hamid 1.0, which is exactly what they had on their stuff. It was the 1533Hs. Got these from my Allied, had a back order, took a couple weeks, but... They're fairly cheap. You can get them all over the, the internet. R1 100K, R2 60K, 5 watts. And R3, we were doing some changes on R3. We dropped that down to, that was about 60, 61K. We just tapped into, uh, we actually tapped into this spot right over here and put a 1k over here so we added this and 1k over here we come up with 61k for R3 that's how we did that resistor load uh, we never did put a resistor load on this thing we, the, the uh, load resistance of that tube is about 3900 uh, you want to put a uh, carbon resistor in there too not a wire wound C2 and C3, and that was the output. We got a hundred. We put a hundred picofarads. They called for 125. C4 and C5 and C6 right there. So you do that, uh, and you should get a, uh, an oscillator working. So there you have it.